this key. to tread on your toes. You're certainly smart brewing up all these recipes. Today's test is about how smart you'll be when you drink. Think you'll be able to craft something? Mm. Authorized to trade supplies and equipment. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies.
ammunition, and other supplies available here. Stock up now while supplies are available. Resupply here, citizen. Be sure to stop up while you can.
seems like you haven't been allowing Gagan. I knew you'd do it. Tell that to those flat tires saying alcohol's bad for the brain. They get me in a ladder. Those, 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 those. Oh, what was I saying again? Well, we're those anyway. We didn't get to talk much. Um, I'd like to tell them how swell I'm doing. Do you want to know what tomorrow's test will be? Oh, sneaky biggies. Come back and see for yourself. There's the name. Drink is the game. And I am in first place, old boy. And how are we doing this very, very, very swell evening? Attention, this is the Warden of Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Mad Dog Malone's on the loose. This infamous criminal has slipped his leash. I need all armed citizens to surround Grafton Dam and apprehend this felon. Be sure to take him alive. I intend to make an example of him to all the other prisoners. My marshals will take care of trying. 
Hey, 76. You get up to any trouble? Sure, don't worry. You here to help? The usual. Locations on your map. If I'd known you were heading to Watoga, I'd have dumped a few salvage requests on your hands. not be a looker, but he's the best demolitions expert we got.
Oh, Sky in here, man. Talk about, hey, bitch. You, who, who baby mom you talking about today, Sky? Hold on, hold on. Take this mama. So good to see you again. Hold on, mama. Join Dean. There you go. Which... Ah, excellent choice. Good hunting, isn't it? As I'm sure you have. If the settlement is. We'd like you to focus. While many of them. There are many. He's saying, he say, excuse you, bro, so he can get a chair back. Pick it up for him. Pick it up for him before you grab the cord and put it in the door. Post. And that's all we need for now. They, um. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's see. I'm at the door, man. But yeah, they, um. So, yeah, well, I'm just looking at it. Just kind of like. I don't know if Pete heard, but Wu Tang Clan apparently still together. I was unaware they broke up. Yeah, me too. Somebody was like, nah, Wu Tang get together. I'm going. No, I'm pretty sure the motherfuckers, because trust me, if they would have broke up. That would have been worldwide news, right there, but... Said, I know there's always some insurrection between them, but I never heard them of them breaking up. But yeah, see, that, that's my thing, like, with groups back in the day, when uh, they didn't have groups didn't break up for how freaking groups break up today when they start. They don't last long. Crime Mob did two albums, broke up. Well, I kind of not surprised by that though. But you look at NC. Well, I ain't fucking up. I ain't fucking up. Last night I was a '93 bitch. <laughs> if you was paying attention, but now like you look at NC, you know they what? Without Justin, they wasn't gonna be shit. Yeah. I mean, Robin, Robin, Robin Thick, Robin Thick handled his own, but them other two, Joey and what my man named Matt. They wasn't gonna be shit. They do that. Yeah, for totally care. I mean, he ain't yeah, even had a career. You look at fucking uh, B2K with Mario. They do that. What go do that with Mario? Yeah, it didn't last. You know what I'm saying? Like these groups today, they don't, they didn't, understand, they don't understand the purpose of group. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, group is busy. I mean, Tribe Called Quest, yeah, had their own, uh, they had their own personal issues with them. They may have dismissed the motherfucker too. I can't remember. Well, I mean, it's kind of like EPMD. Oh yeah, they really did not mix. Cypress Hill didn't Cypress Hill last long? Um, they never like broke up. They just kind of got older and started doing their own shit. Ninety small four, they about tall as me. Yeah, I say, it, it's certain shit out there like. Look at Wu Tang, yeah, he's a bunch of old fucks, but they still together. Say, so, now to be honest, it's amazing that Wu Tang was able to even come together. To be perfectly honest, I can kind of see why LL wouldn't fit in the group. Um, the, period, well, the reason why LL <laughs> didn't fit in the group is because he was a fucking weirdo when he got signed. Well, I would. <laughs> His own admission, he got signed for being a weirdo. I mean, aside from you saying he's a weirdo and killer call him a bitch ass nigga for wanting to feel on himself. I, to me, whenever he was on like the tracks, whenever he was on tracks with certain people and shit, or just another group of gentlemen, like he demanded the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? He demanded that shine on the track. It's just like, no, nigga, it ain't about you, motherfucker. It's just a team well, I mean, he—he's not a team player. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. LL, had, LL was fired back in the day. Now. Don't get me wrong, he was fired, but yeah, he—he he wasn't a team player. He—he he wasn't like, a team player. Like, all right, Prince is a good example where you know, Prince literally was in his own world, and other people just kind of bought into it. <laughs> I, I could—I I couldn't picture Prince being in a group though. But he was, and he also I, backed a bunch of groups too. Yeah, I, I couldn't, well, when I grew up, of course, you know, I, I grew up kind of on the back end pricks. Nah, you was pretty much while he was on that shit. While he uh, well, was well, doing I, his group thing. Well, when I say grew, grew up, I mean, you know, I wouldn't hit the prince like that. I, I wouldn't, I would hope not, because that would be pretty weird. <laughs> say, you four years old and deep into the purple rain, I worry about you. 
<laughs> Purple Rain. See, that's my uncle shit being covered up. But I don't know. To me, I feel like Mike Jackson did pretty damn good in the group. You know? Well, Mike. I don't know who broke that group up. Troop. I don't know who broke that group up. But. Well, see, Mike <laughs> wasn't really in a group. He started from a troop. It was. So this is what pit. all of you are because you're going to get us out of the ghetto. <laughs> so, so, so all you kill niggas got to learn to dance and sing. <laughs> kill over here blaming it on damn Ike. <laughs> what Ike got to do with it? <laughs> Not Ike, my bad. Not Mike. Ike, but Joe. He over here blaming it on Joe and shit. No, he literally beat them into success. <laughs> I about to say, Joe know what he was doing. He put capital punishment in him, too. That's all. You want to be the greatest? You got to be the greatest. <laughs> Mike grew up in a black family. He knew what was coming. God damn. Like, he became the star because he ain't want none of that action. <laughs> no. I didn't do anything, Dad. It was Tito. Tito, come here, boy. Said if I got to think twice as hard the next night because he ain't he may He anymore. may have contributed to the to the white Mike a little bit. Mike didn't want to be the black no more because his daddy. The damage, yeah, the damage is, was there. May not have been physical, but it was damn just psychological. He may have contributed to the white, Mike. You gotta never be a black, because if being black gets my ass for all the time, I may want to change race. That's probably what happened. I'm not too sure how all that went down, but it didn't affect Janet that much, though she came up outright nympho. Well, Janet was kind of like one of those chicks who was raised in a strict family. And then she went to college and lost her fucking mind. But then regained her composure. So then she was still doing exactly what she wanted to do because no one knew what she was doing at all. If you can get it back. Excellent. Yeah. And then, see, uh, Latoya, well, I don't know pretty much what happened to Latoya after the fact, but. Uh, you she, know, beauty runs out. Uh, did she ever do music? She wasn't good at it. I ain't know Latoya Jackson ever done. I know the only ones I know is Jermaine, Tito, well, Mike. See, Latoya I think I Jackson was famous for porn. Latoya Jackson did porn. She's famous for porn, yes. Oh, that's, that's new news to me. Wow. Yeah, you definitely are of a certain age, sir. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's new news. Say, yeah, she, she was not famous for singing, no. That, that was not what she did well. But Who getting naked it, in front of cameras. Yes, she was good at that. Go to the bathroom, bro. Said like if she would like literally, if she were to happen right now, she would be an Instagram model. Yes, I was told it the circle, but. Who was is going on? Jermaine, Tito, Mike. I'm missing one. Like the group. What was the other one? So, it was, was it something with an R or some shit? Ronnie, Ricky. Well, he ain't mad, so that's why he can't. Jermaine, me Tito, Mike. It was Jackson 5. I'm missing two people. <laughs> okay, Joe. Now what the other one? <laughs> he put Joe in it. <laughs> That's how I be getting these three seconds, bro. Okay, so you trying to get Michael, Jermaine, Tito, Joe, Junior, and it was one more. Joe wasn't in that shit. No, Joe Junior. I don't remember his name being Joe Junior. I think his name. Oh no, I can't remember the motherfucker name. I just know it was Jackson Five. Like I don't remember three of them. So this, we got a problem. But yeah, cause Janet wasn't part of the Jackson Five. She was kind of home. No, she was um part of the three sisters basically, and she was. Wait, this the third sister? Yeah, really yeah. Wait, I only know Toya and Janet. Who's the third? One? You gotta look it up, cause she ain't really do nothing. Yeah. See, see, Mike, Mike just said, "Fuck the family tree." Went on to become full on Caucasian. I 
Nah, I'm just screen number 11, man. Obviously, you don't want to. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, the person you couldn't call was Randy. Randy, I knew it started with all. Called this nigga Ricky and Ronnie and shit. <laughs> yeah, Michael, Randy, Jack, um, Jermaine, Tito. Okay, we said this is somebody. Look at this shit. Oh, Pat. Look at this Man. shit. Oh, Randy Jackson's dead? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. New news to me. I mean, I'm yeah, there. That's kind of oh, like Marlin. the philosophy. It's kind of like the philosophy that uh, <laughs> I use on TV. Rest in peace, both of them. Oh, she died too? I get, get a hammer and have it uh, bang it down. Kind of like, uh, what was I saying? Ike Jackson, Jackson. I tell you that was Joe Jr. Joe well, Jackie Jr. Jackie Jackson. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know. I know the tambourine player. I rip his legs clean off. Oh, bro, don't pass him like that. I'm mm. thick. Because nobody, because I ain't getting the ball, they just dug Okay, bro. it was Jackie just Jackson, Tito Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, Marlon Jackson. Michael Jackson and Randy Jackson. Randy is super you gotta come shit down. Okay, Randy got in there late, so I'm guessing he replaced Tito. Cream of fucking success. Came out of that shit of ass whooping. <laughs> okay, I think it was Rebby Jackson was the third one. Was the third I don't know how the fuck he stole that pass, but fuck it. Shut up. Okay. Um, Jan, um, Latoya holding the distinction for being the first Jackson sister to attain one awarded by the Syndicate National Edition <laughs> Phonographic for Reggae Night. Oh. She co wrote with Jimmy Cliff. But again, she was not very good with that. Shit. She got hit. That was even big, man. I see. So if I ain't down there to play defense in the paint, I wonder how this game would turn up. Yeah, Rebby Jackson was the oldest sister. Don't, don't. So he, was, he was standing right there because so I wasn't going to catch him. Let's see. Yeah, they, they uh, got some interesting ass on. Um, I don't count the distance, child. Well, Destiny Child, they were basically created. Yeah, because they, cause they was already, well, Beyonce, mom and daddy, the one funded that damn group. They just own a ranch. A whole ranch they damn Yeah, because the plan was to make a star, was to make a star group, to make a star group. So, she basically went through the Michael Jackson treatment minus the um, abuse, apparently. Yeah. Or at least it was a different level of it. Yeah, 
um the toy jackson was where i found out if you're a woman and you pose in playboy you have effectively negated the hell out of your career <laughs> get it Changed later in life though but not a whole lot Oh, you just do that. Oh, okay. Oh, see. you you man got a shit ton of legacy weapons that you need to get. Alright, thought to him. Oh, okay, yeah, because apparently he was banned. Yeah, he's back now though. Yeah, they trying to see if Dream coming back because she didn't get back yet. So yeah, hey, he nobody told me about how all that shit ended up going down because he asked if I got banned. He was like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do the dupe. Said, I didn't get a chance to do any duping while it was advantageous to be duping. Alright, so, you know, each week I was getting ready to do, or like tried a little, like the method that um was working broke, so it was just kind of like... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that that close to him, but I sure did enjoy killing him. I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting three seconds in the motherfucking plate. <laughs> because he's damageable. Oh, he looked at that. Okay. Playing defense in the paint, you passing that motherfucker. So I'm looking at uh, so I'm just looking at certain shit. Now back in the days, like the eighties and nineties, we we created some very successful motherfuckers. But then, then about two thousand to about two thousand six ish. It's still been going fairly pretty good. In 2010 here, everything is with shit. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, part of the reason is there weren't as many people who were being built to be, like, the pinnacle of, for one. And then, also, too, the, as further everything went along, quality was not necessarily a, a feature uh, as much. Kill I'm looking at now and like T.I. on some dumb shit. He wants to lyrically battle Jay Z, and I'm going. Well, That's fine. Now this, I like now at this point, T.I. You just want the tip. You need to be uh, need to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Count, Account not accountable. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fuck. Can't get the word, but. It just, yeah, he's just looking for it. Like, he just needs something to be relevant. That's what I'm looking for. He still wants to be relevant for something. Well, I mean, he's got his podcast that seems to do real well, but in all honesty, um, I think he pretty much knows that people really aren't interested in T.I. as much as they are in Tip Harris. There, but you know, I'm just kind of like this. You know, it's nice that he needs to, to make Jay-Z the answer, but he's really not currently the guy on the throne in hip hop at the moment, anyway. That throne seems to be just straight up vacant with not even anyone trying to fit in that motherfucker right now. And then J. Cole just dropped some fire the other day. My homeboy, he already started that hating shit. 
Well, you know, Five. J. Cole just conscious rap. I don't expect for him to be liked by the typical listener. It's definitely not by the hood nigga. <laughs> oh, this shit got two cracks in it, bro. I gotta get another damn screen. Because you know, anybody that's right like, here, pair of screens and shit. You know, I get weird. I get worried when I meet a hood nigga who is into like conscious hip hop. I don't know where you shop at, man. The y'all motherfucker like to charge all of the damn leg. I ain't got two arms, motherfucker. I got two arms and a hundred dollars to my name, bitch. Who wrote this guy? How much they gonna charge me? <laughs> That's what I got one of the old, not old, but it's an Android I got from uh, Cricket. It was temporary to use, but I just need a new screen because she cracked. So, what model is it? What, the screen? Oh. You see all the gaps? Oh, it's not the gaps. It's one of them off brand phones. You easy to get a screen for this motherfucker. Not always. I got to look to see. Taking with me. I'm just trying to take all your little money out your pocket. It's an LG M327. Say what? What? Why didn't buy another phone? Because it's piece of shit. Well, I ain't using the phone to call no damn buddy. How much screen gonna cost? That's why I don't go to niggas. I gotta go to white man. <laughs> we can find me the white man. He's work deal with. Yeah, when it comes to some of those budget things, I know about the fact. I just sit that bitch to flow. Flow do it for me for free. You fix the other one, shit. <laughs> yeah, pit. Got way around all that, nigga. Try to help y'all out, but you can't beat free. Got that? Damn right, you can't beat free. Motherfucker. Why I don't be selling to nobody in this area? <laughs> Can't be free, goddamn. That man all the way in Mississippi. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah, all you got to do is mail it to him. It probably cost about as much. <laughs> nah, that's it. GameStop. <laughs> Seeing that bitch for free like they do everything else. Oh, don't worry. It only costs like $8 to ship it. Cause the game, I know when I was working at GameStop, I ain't fixed my last phone. I just mail that bitch for free. But I don't know. If I mail something right now, it's gonna take the fuck forever. No, it'll get there in three days. Cause the way this Corona shit got everything slowed down, I ain't get my statues in two months later. Oh no, you'll get that in three days because it's domestic. Oh yeah, I need, do need to uncheck. I might just see if I can transfer my data from this phone to that. Well, I mean, what is it that you per se need the phone for anyway? I'm using it for my uh for my messenger app and my one piece game that I currently still play that I don't want to start fuck over. Okay, so basically you're not using it as a phone anyway. Uh uh I just need to, I just want the screen fix on the kind of uh most of the um parents reach me through the messenger app. And I ain't really wanna go get a whole nother damn phone right now. Oh, so rather than get a thirty dollar phone, you just rather struggle and try to fix that piece of shit. Got you. Okay. Yeah, you know. I like being different. Can't be the same, motherfucker. Gotta be a different motherfucker. Hey, Pass the ball, motherfucker. Into that. I'm just not. <laughs> Got a whole point guard standing right in front of me, bro. This is why people don't be on teams like this.
Still up. My for all water for some hash browns. This is a tuna. Make a tuna. Uh, fix me tuna then. I don't want no damn tuna, Benny. You blind motherfucker. You fat bitch. <laughs> Bro, when I see that part of the damn. When I see that shit on holiday. Nice, nigga, I was crying now. Ah, shit. What is he doing? Fourth quarter, four minutes. <clears throat> that my fire. Fuck. Train. Gatorade Center? What you waiting on to do at night then? So they playing oh. Call of Duty and shit. Yeah, I was coming to ask you, monkey. You do know that you can um use the play to save your game um stats, right? Say that one more time, P. You can use Google Play to actually save your progress in your games. Oh yeah, you're right. I gotta figure out how to do that shit. I believe you do. Bunch of Negroes here. I didn't get that. I knew that damn screen was gonna crack today too. Look at this damn baby. <laughs> Do it too late. Nicks. I'm assuming you went and watched you some anime last night, Pete. Nope. Oh, you went to sleep, said fuck it. Said no, I had an event I needed to attend. That really ain't had shit to do with me, but mm. <laughs> you just see that meat like what the fuck is this? Yeah, I just kind of already knew. I'm really just here just to get through this bullshit. Uh, Vacation? Oh uh, no, nah, nah. I said with them, there's usually money involved, so I ain't worried about that. That's good. It don't matter. Because the you know. way these niggas passing the ball, bro. Mm. Look if you touch that bitch. So I got no major problems with anybody I can actually break bread with, but you know. So otherwise, there'd be people who want to make shit difficult. But you know, people in this area seem to be fucking afraid to make money. Because, you know, I don't know. they just afraid to make money. White and black. Look how late they pass the ball, bro. Huh? Not that on them, bro. Are you standing wide the fuck over and they ain't even bother past you the ball. See this, this game over. I wonder how old girl gonna tell them, them girls in the, in the, in the courthouse, well not courthouse, in the jail she at. Why she ain't there? Why she in there? She gonna blew your whole face off. Gonna be like, take her whole face off. I wonder what made her use the damn grill lighter anyway. But she couldn't find no matches or nothing. What the fuck are you talking about? You ain't seen that video? But the girl burnt that Jeep up? Oh, oh, where, you know, it's like her first time arsonist? Yeah, cause that shit backfired on her Well, yeah, that's, if you don't pay attention to science, that's what happens. <laughs> that shit, boom! She hit that car, nigga, with the roller, but that crawl away sold it, boy. The way she crawled out of that nigga. <laughs> 
Like her boy, her ex boyfriend didn't know who the fuck did it to her car. His car. I mean, you know who the fuck married with you. <laughs> oh, we got another COVID 19 conspiracy. So, motherfuckers is out here making up pathogens and they ain't gonna fuck with that shit real now, huh? You find the fuck out when you catch it, goddammit. That motherfucker came me the other day, AIDS ain't real. So, go on like that and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mind over matter does not apply to that shit. <laughs> you know, like that raw dog if they come across. I uh, tell you what, when you get that motherfucker, watch your life change. You gonna damn sure catch something. <laughs> your life, your whole life, your whole respect of life gonna change after people treat you a certain way. When they find out you got that shit. Oh yeah, nobody wants to be around you because even though we know it doesn't pass like cooties or like lice, gonna still treat your ass like you do. Motherfucker on that. They rather hang around motherfucker with herpes. They still know not to touch that motherfucker. Yeah, provided you know that they got that they got issues with that. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody tried to tell me people humans don't get sick, I said, "What dope is you smoke?" Don't get sick. I said, "What dope is you smoke?" Well, our body is genetically modified to not get sick. Well, to get sick, and I'm going. You sound like a genetic lie. Please, please, get out my please. face. If that was the case, people would never have died. They would have just wore out into dust. <sighs> yeah. I said, well, I was like, bro, even animals and plants get sick, sir. Frequently, I might add. We're not, the human race is not superior to nothing when it comes to illness. Genetically modified to get sick. Who the fuck would genetically modify something perfect to get sick? Who said kill? That sounds like some shit that Apple would do to their products. <laughs> so what we all basically apple products all your time passed by the time you to get sick as fuck <laughs> I mean I mean yeah like Jordan, when Jordan beat uh, uh, Charlotte in the second game two of the playoff that nigga dropped 47 but I mean if you take away the 47 parts Charlotte win the game <laughs> But nah, it's just like, well, uh, uh, what's what's that dude name? Prince Y'all or some shit? He said women, uh, uh women body has become bionet biometrically. I said the biometric she was modified to have a period, and I said, wait, what? No, no. I said, hold on, they did what? No. So you didn't tell me. We wish that was the case, because then that means we could turn this shit off. Oh, trust me, if I could stop the vision <laughs> at any time. Turn this shit off. I have the button waiting to hit the button. Uh, not today. Not today. Exactly. <laughs> there would be women looking to come find you when the shit starts. Turn this off, motherfucker. <laughs> well, it don't. The pill doesn't stop the menstruation. It just slows it down, so they don't have it as freaky as a normal period. But the woman's body is normally going to have the period, basically. Well, I mean, even if they have it regularly, they still have it. Yeah. But to not add that shit at all, sir, trust me, men were men are looking for that button, sir. Yeah. We thought we got... had it. We thought we had it with the pill, actually. Cause... I'd be like, what? Oh, she'll harag again. <laughs> Maybe I feel much better. My pig go, yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> I got that bitch clean, you know? <laughs> So much peace restored. Why you think women can't? Why you think women can't be president of the U.S.? Not the young woman anyway. They had to get some old bitch. We ain't bleeding no more. <laughs> <laughs> but by that time, you don't want an old bitch. She just scored to. She, she just scored. Angry. Just angry. <laughs> Everybody can get it, and not in a good way either. <laughs> Everybody just dies. 
y'all y'all getting on my nerves. I'm trying to cook and y'all want press conferences. Uh, that, that's part of your job. I don't care. <laughs> Y'all bring that to Barack Obama. He wasn't trying to cook. He was being yeah. president. He did both, so we figured you can do both too. Uh, here you go, just me. Okay. Right, you got actually a vice president, you got a secretary of state, you got a treasurer, you got a. Uh, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say. You got the I'm advisor, right. you got the speaker. In the so, world. Yes. Impeach day two of their turn. <laughs> Every man on the planet, <laughs> every man in the U.S. voted to impeach. Just get this out of here. <laughs> and you know women can't, women don't like other women, so yeah. He don't want to talk to you right now, kill. He just got a beat. Now he mad. <laughs> he just got a spank. I was disciplined. This was not what I signed up for. So, do you understand why you got a spank? Yeah. I sure don't. So you know, you know not to do it no more, right? I don't. I'm just gonna do it more. You <laughs> getting up? You won't dare. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Second beating happens. <laughs> they call me Kid Wolf Ass. You gonna be? You gonna be? Truth be told, make sure the male's beating you because the, the woman don't know how to stop when she gets started. Oh, uh, yes. Everything the woman beat the child for is all based on what the father did. And that's just flowing the fuck out. Just, I ain't just beating you for not for doing what you did. I'm beating you for doing what you did, what your father did, what he ain't doing, what he's supposed to be really doing. Will beat children <laughs> just because they exist. Like gave birth to nigga, I got the right to beat you. No. It's like, what the I ain't do nothing. I'm not even doing anything. What oh, is wrong you've with returned. you? I don't care. You have the photographs I asked. Like, what the little kids here, they were talking about child support. And Brian was like, man, I ain't paying for that. He was the brother, like, I ain't paying no damn child support. I said, so you don't care about the kids, man? Yeah, fuck the kids. I like, so you say your mom and dad don't give a fuck about y'all? Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> I was like, yes. I mean, some people, I, I explained to them, like, some people on child support, they end up on child support because the mother is bitter as fuck. You know, the daddy don't want to be with her, but he wants to be a father, but she don't want him to do that. Which does so, happen. And it's, there's, there's certain situations where the man wants to be on child support, so his child can't be provided for. Because he knows he ain't got it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But in most cases, it's just the woman being spiteful because I don't want to beat you no more, bitch. You. you know, that child technically wasn't supposed to be here, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do. Everybody involved. And then him for me, you got two, three baby moms. The one that put you on child support, she called all them motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> Do your baby mama talk, killer? Oh, so they communicate with each other. They, so they they on cool terms. Must be. You finish running up and down the damn treadmill and all that. With this goddamn brown shirt you got on, man. Oh, 
all these elite ones at the door, man. But yeah, it's just like. Oh, shit. Where's Swap at? Anybody got to touch the Swap? Stop bitching and be a rapper. I'm still trying to explain to these women like you can't be out here thotting and botting and then won't re won't respect like so I had to kindly break that down to Aqua or Whitney what you gonna call her? she had a whole rant about rants yeah she she had a post on Facebook a whole rant about uh, it's like each week is some new dude that's basically approaching her on that shit yeah and, I'm, and I kind of told her like well if I'm a drug dealer. My, my, my drug dealer nickname is Shady, but everybody knew me as Ma. I'm gonna fucking walk up to me and say, yo, Shady, if he know Ma, the fuck won't buy weed, he won't buy weed. He can fuck what my name is. Well, <laughs> it's honestly, the best weed. Well, honestly, I get what her concern, what her particular beef is. And basically, I, here's, here's what her beef is. Her beef is a little different from the bitches out there actually selling pussy. All right. She's not necessarily asking for these cats to be respectful because of her persona. She's pretty much just point blank. This is what I do, but this is just what I do. And I'm not even out there doing what you're assuming comes with it. So it's like, in that respect, you sell cigarettes, but people think that you sell cigarette weed. So you a weed, you basically are considered to be a weed seller, even though you don't sell any weed. And you just want people to basically stop treating you like you sell heroin. <laughs> but because they feel like you sell weed, which you don't, surely you must also sell coke and heroin. I mean, it's going to be either. though. I mean, I might not sell it, but I can find it for you. Well, I mean, that's the thing. She's not even interested in finding it for her. Well, she did put that ass up there. She ain't looking for it. Well, see, that's my point, though, I is the when there's an industry like built on that whole it. idea, but we got a whole bunch of bitches thinking you got to go fuck to make the money. So now everyone feels like every drug deal in America is supposed to have all the goddamn drugs. You can't specialize in shit. Well, she better, she better just refer the niggas to her business page and then discuss business with them. Because they're obviously trying to buy it, so I don't see why she would turn down the money. Well, she said, I am, bitch. Ain't like got too many dollars. Don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, man? I mean, that's the same reason why they're still ugly bitches looking for niggas to fuck. Bro, look, bro, hold on, money. bro, hold on. <laughs> we putting in work, bro. We putting in work. Just you ain't not. I wanted to see. No, we just in here putting in work. We killed him, Pit. You serious? You acting like Dennis Rodman right, right now, taking your old damn I'm Las Vegas trip for Game Three of the playoffs. Say what? Come on. This nigga eating crab legs. Oh, uh, Family Friday. I forgot. Family Friday. My bad. Killing here. Killing here. Talking cash money shit right now. Kill it here talking nigga. Kill it here talking cash money trash right there, man. They call you all kind of ugly ass niggas and crab leg eating ass niggas. They say keep that swag, say 
swear if they keep that same energy, nigga, about an hour. Oh, that shit fired. You already know. Damn, nigga, I got a paint filter. All right, then, bro. I'm about to get this tooth king, nigga. You ain't trying to get no high. Oh, All right. That's going to be Monday tomorrow. Excited to go to work or some shit. Oh! I ain't working anywhere. That just makes it crazy. Shh. That nigga say. Oh, Defense. Oh, he got a shit bike. Y'all do know these niggas are 98 overall, right? <laughs> Call the Superstar 3 paint defender. And one. Push this nigga his shit. Aw, oh, damn. But yeah, man, it's, I, was just, I, I was trying, I was kind of telling her, like, it, it, certain shit, I understand it bothers it, but it comes with the business. It comes with the territory. I mean, it, it is what it it's is. It's going to come with it. And you can't really avoid it. Only manage it because you know what the fuck you tell these niggas they gonna do it. Well, I mean, it no matter how you. It's just like oh, this: shit. you ain't got to sell a bit of sex. You can just be a model, and oh, niggas oh, are oh. gonna ask you to sell pussy to them. <laughs> My bad. Say it again, yeah, bitch. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. <laughs> she said, like, if you're just a model. Just because you're a model, there's gonna be niggas who gonna ask you to sell pussy to them just because you're a model. I mean, there's bitches out there who just being married women who niggas are like, let me buy a piece. So, oh, I mean, shit. you know, now the thing is, her husband find out you doing that shit, he's gonna put your ass in a box, but niggas ain't scared of that shit. The husband? <laughs> <laughs> say, you know, they just wanna say, you know, somebody should put these disrespectful motherfuckers in their place, and it's just like, you won't let us kill them. <laughs> Oh. Hey, you're back. He yeah, ain't. That's why I, my man. I ain't leave my man. No fuck. Uh, that's what he I've want. That's what he want. <laughs> Affirmative. Uh. Trying to get out the way. Still, you fast as fuck. Said, but you know, any woman who like really like point blank. Makes a business out of being pretty or anything like that, and it's on some shit that's sexual at all. Doesn't matter what merit you have, we as society do not care. All we want you to be after that is just a bitch and get naked and sucking fuck on demand. We don't give a damn about what you think, who you are. What your kids think, how your kids doing, how your man doing. We don't even give a damn if your life is going good. You go right back to being ancient man's woman. Property. Well, this is a good game. Got to paint the film that shooting threes. If you passing it too late, bro. Come on, you see the shit. Just give it up. I don't give a fuck. Game over. Anyway. Mm. I'm smacking rebounds now. Oh, okay. I'm actually catching up. I'm, not, okay. I'm not shooting shit else. I ain't leaving my man. Fuck offense. Yeah, no part of that sounded right. I did. No homo. There you go. Cooking stuff with my car. That actually looks kind of cool. 
It's not, I'm going to buy that motherfucker cool, though. But it looks kind of cool. Look, a late pass me the ball. He ain't had a bitch passing to that nigga in the first place. I'm standing right there in the basket. Thank you. Yeah, some of these games, man. Got my weight. Oh, my Lord, bro. He just standing there. Right in the down. If you going to pick the man up, pick him up. That's the ball to the middle of the court. Middle of the fucking court. So he come down here to guard. I do got 12 points off of three. He trying to guard him, bro. I don't know why. Say if you see the screen, pass the ball. Coming off of the screen, don't pass it while you're in the middle of dribbling that bitch. Just stay in the middle of the court. 